Today, we are going to be spectating the number one hacker in Modern Warfare 3. These hackers can use aimbot, they have wall hacks, and they can even use a ray gun in multiplayer. I should be uploading this video on Christmas Eve or Christmas, so either way, if you guys celebrate Christmas, go down below and drop a like on the video. And let me know in the comment section, did you guys get any cool gifts? And just a quick disclaimer, I do not condone or approve of these hacks and these cheats. I want all of these hackers to get banned in Call of Duty because it just ruins the fun. Alrighty, guys, so let's now see how it looks in-game. Obviously, he can see right through the middle of Rust. He's already locking onto people. He can see exactly the location of every single enemy, and this is wild, dude. I think he, obviously, he has that strong aimbot where he's getting a lot of headshots in a row. He sees the skeleton of all the enemies, the, even the health bar as well, which is really interesting because we don't even see health bars in multiple player that's something that we just don't have we've had that in other call of duty games i believe in like black ops 4 and maybe infinite warfare but we don't have health bars in multiplayer right now so yeah he's just getting a bunch of headshots and he's also using an lmg which kind of makes sense because he doesn't have to reload that often on a kill streak i'm sure he drops an mgb i'm sure he drops a nuke and it's just kind of crazy to see this gameplay man like obviously there's always going to be cheaters there's always going to be hackers in any game you play whether that is gta call of duty uh fortnite there, there's always gonna be hackers in my opinion in any type of game that you play obviously call of duty has you know ricochet the anti-cheat system and they're constantly trying to fight and battle the hackers in call of duty games but it's pretty wild because mw3 literally just dropped man like it just dropped it is a very very fresh game and to see that these hackers are this like advanced already is kind of crazy he's dying he has aimbot he can see where all the enemies are and yet they're still killing him which is kind of embarrassing in my opinion obviously like i said i don't condone cheating i want these people to get banned because it kind of just ruins the fun for literally everyone playing and i've made videos like this in the past where i spectate and you know react to hackers in all call of duty games and i find myself asking myself the same question like why like why are you doing this literally makes no sense to me like i understand like i'll be, I'll be completely honest back in world at war I would get into modded lobbies. I would fly around. I would literally have hacks back in World at War. I will fully admit that. But after like two games of me just absolutely destroying everyone, getting attack dogs, flying around, having my rainbow name, I was just like, okay, this is kind of boring. I, I kind of want to go back to playing the game legit because that was more fun. Like you're literally just snapping onto everyone. You're ruining their day. You obviously know you're going to get full streaks, get a bunch of kills. Odds are your account will be banned at some point you know what i mean also i think call of duty has implemented a few changes to their anti-cheat and updated it so basically even if hackers are able to play and get into matches if they jump even like a tiny bit and hit the ground or you know have fall damage they will just die and break, basically just break their limbs and they've added that i think when modern warfare 3 first came out but they're doing things to kind of combat cheaters because obviously cheaters can use these hacks over and over again and if their account gets banned they can just make a new account and do the same thing over again. So I think Call of Duty knows that. I think they're aware that people can just create new accounts and do the same exact thing. So instead of just automatically banning these players right when they get on the game, essentially what they're going to do is not ban their accounts, but make it so it's harder for them to play. Like I said, if they even jump, they'll get fall damage and they will basically die straight away. There's also a lot of things where if you're playing like Warzone, uh, you won't have any guns in your hand. So you'll still have the hacks. You'll still have your your aimbot and and your account but you'll spawn in with no weapons um so call of duty is basically doing that because these people will easily just create new accounts if they just ban them straight away and when you see the leaderboards obviously you can see he's level six this is a, a very very fresh and new account you can see this right now this man this hacker is using a ray gun in modern warfare 3 multiplayer now i'm pretty sure call of duty and sledgehammer they tweeted about this they they patched it they removed this glitch already but essentially hackers were able to find a way to get the ray gun from zombies into multiplayer and use it like a gun i'm pretty sure it has unlimited ammo 
It's a one-shot kill, and it acts like a pistol. You also die with a ray gun, which is <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But yeah, so I think the way they were able to get the ray gun into multiplayer, I think there's going to be a brand new game mode called Vortex coming out very soon for MW3 multiplayer, where we will actually be able to use the ray gun in multiplayer for the first time, I think, like, ever. And it's a new game mode, limited time coming, I believe, like, January 11th. So that's why these hackers were able to find a way to use the ray gun in multiplayer early. It's just so weird to me seeing the ray gun in multiplayer. Like, it just doesn't look natural. Obviously, this is a zombies only weapon, but it just looks so weird to run around and slide cancel and use this in multiplayer. Yeah, obviously, the hacker still has some... Oh my god, the hacker actually got destroyed. The hacker obviously still can see the enemies, see their health bar, see uh, this skeleton, their outline, see how far away and the distance they are. He also died again. Wow, he literally... He's kind of bad. <laughs> I've actually found this a lot about hackers, but the hackers that I spectate or react to, they're really bad. They'll actually die probably more than me, a regular player. They just, like, don't have a lot of, like, awareness, natural Call of Duty abilities, basically, or any skill. They're obviously hacking because they need to. They probably think it's fun, but, like, they die pretty often, which is kind of funny. Oh, my God. This, this ray gun, though, this is a good like representation though of how the ray gun's gonna be when the vortex ltm drops in literally a little bit wait hold on hold on in the chat they said man playing with a ray gun what in the shadow ban lobby am i in these poor players are literally just experiencing this they see a guy with a ray gun running around and just destroying everyone let me see one two obviously i think eod is probably gonna help i think he gets hit markers with eod uh, as a perk, but oh my god, he doesn't even have to aim down sights, bro. Like, he's just shooting the ray gun, and that's basically it. Oh my. I, I feel so bad for these people. I want you guys to go down below and let me know if you guys, truthfully, have ran into an actual hacker in Modern Warfare 3 yet. Honestly, I get accused of cheating and hacking in a lot of Call of Duty lobbies, but I want you guys to literally tell me if you had like full on proof it was just so noticeable uh, that you were in a lobby with a hacker. Let me know. Me personally, I have not ran into a hacker yet in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer or even Warzone. So, of course, let me know in the comments. I am pretty curious to see if you guys find hackers that often. Like, there are more cheater and hackusations more than ever. Like, I know a lot of my friends, like Swag and a lot of people who play Warzone, they get called cheaters all the time. People make videos on these people because they they're really just naturally good at the game but people are always trying to find ways to like see if people are hacking streamers and youtubers and content creators people are always trying to like see the littlest bit of offness when it comes to like their accuracy their aim how they're playing and try to like expose everyone remember back in the day when like black ops 1 was out mw2 black ops 2 mw3 those games that specifically that timeline i saw someone really good in a lobby i wasn't like you're a cheater i'm gonna report you no i was like i want to edge you i want to be friends with you i want to play with you and be good and get better so i can get to that level that was what i did back in the day i never really even like thought about cheaters and someone being suspicious like, I was always like, damn, this guy is amazing. I want to be better than him. I want to get as good as him. I want to add this guy as a friend so he can teach me how to play. I'd probably back out right away. The enemy team is just, they're, they're full of troopers. That, that was crazy right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there is a blast radius with the ray gun. So even if you don't connect to the enemy, they still get damaged just being near the blast, which is kind of crazy. I am really excited to use the ray gun and play the Vortex game mode, but it looks overpowered as hell. Like, if this was just, like, a regular gun in multiplayer, multiplayer would be destroyed. Warzone would be destroyed. So, they have to just make it a very limited time game mode so people can't do this. And the worst part is, though, he's also just playing on meat, which is one of the smallest maps in the game. And this just came out. This shows you that hackers are still running around because meat literally came out like what a week or two ago so this is fairly recent gameplay up oh, game's about to end there's one kill there oh he actually died five more points left on the hard point guys you can finish it up trust me you can finish up the game it's fine 
There's a ray gun hacker. Just, he's running around killing apps. Thank you. Thank you for finishing the game. And also, guys, the text on the bottom saying link in description, that's not my text. That's on the hacker's video footage. I just want to go ahead and read some of the comments and just see the reactions of people watching this video. This person said, wow, this game looks so fun. I'm glad I bought this. This person said, why? I genuinely wonder why. Why use cheats? How is it that fun in a multiplayer game? I really don't get it. That's the question I always ask ask myself when I watch these videos. This man said, bro sucks even with cheats. In the beginning, he missed like three shots at a guy not even moving. Yeah, literally, these cheaters are so bad at the game. This man said, how are you dying as well? Seems really easy to stay alive with cheats. You make this look hard. Yeah, the comment section is basically just in shock and awe that this is even possible, but also just roasting this guy. Okay, so this is the last gameplay that we're gonna be watching today. And this man is also hacking in Warzone. Um, so kind Kind of the same thing as you guys expected he has aimbot he has the wall hacks he obviously can see where everyone is around the map he even almost just died with a cruise missile which is actually kind of crazy this man had popped dead silence sees this guy running that uh, i mean i kind of feel bad so i had to mute the audio because this man is playing eye of the tiger yeah just let me know in the comment section man like how do you guys feel about the hacker situation do you guys think that call of duty is not doing enough with their ricochet and their anti-cheat do you guys kind of think that there shouldn't be hackers period at all me personally i just know and i'm aware that there's always going to be hackers. Even if a game has the most perfect anti-cheat out there, there's still going to be hackers because these people find a way to, I don't know, update their program and download all of these cheats. And there's just always going to be a way. People could just also keep making new accounts as well. It is just kind of an unfortunate situation, but thankfully, like I said earlier, I have not ran into a single hacker personally yet in multiplayer or in Warzone. But of course, let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys have ran into a legit hacker, not just someone good at the game. This man has 20 kills and there's like, what, five people, six people left now after he kills this person. He downs them, kills them. Yep, he's hitting the uh, zip line, knows this guy's right to his left, of course. Boom, he actually almost died and got really low health, actually. Knows this guy's down here, but you could just tell this hacker is like genuinely sweating. I don't even know if he has aimbot. Maybe he doesn't have aimbot this game because his shots are definitely looking a little bit shakier compared to the multiplayer footage, but he can obviously see where people are. Um, so that's the thing. That's the huge advantage. He double stuns this guy. Execute. Awesome. No, sick, dude. And that's the game. He wins. If you made it this far, man, drop a like on the video if you want all of these hackers to be banned in Call of Duty. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.